Welcome. I'm so glad for your hard work. You are on the right way. In this video, we are going to talk about perimeters, area, and the Pythagorean theorem. We will focus on our polygons. So what are they? They are closed plane shapes with straight side without crossing each other. So the sides don't cross each other. So is this shape a polygon? No, because this side is opened, right? It's not closed. What about this one? Still no, because this side right here is not straight. What about this? Still no, because these sides cross each other and we don't want them to cross each other. When they cross each other, we do have two insides, one and two. They are not unique. Even here that they don't cross each other and uh, the inside is unique. The only problem is this shape right there is not straight. But here we have two problems. They are first crossing each other and from there we don't have a non we, we have a non unique inside area this area here is different from this area so we have two different area it should be only one inside area so what about this one yes because sides are straight they are closed we have unique inside area right okay so now now that we know what is what are our polygons and what are the shape that we will be using? Let's start with the first one. We have this and uh, this size is six inches. This one is six inches. This is three inches. This is three inches. All right. To find the perimeter, we add the value of all its sides. So we have P that I'm calling perimeter equal to D6 plus D3 plus D6 plus D3. So all sides, I have to add them. So I have 9, 15, 18. So my perimeter is 18 inches. So what about finding the area of this side? And this side, they have same length, 6 inches, 6 inches and they are parallel. Parallel means if we keep drawing them, if we keep drawing them, they will never touch each other, right? We can keep drawing them from the left, or we can keep drawing them from the, the right. They will never touch each other. They are parallel. So this one and this one right there, they are parallel and they have same length. Same as the three inches they have same length and they are also parallel if we keep drawing them bottom or top they will never touch each other so they are parallel and if we see these corners we can just put these two lines and have a little cube over there and uh, we call this shape a rectangle so they are a rectangle they have right angle all four are right angle because they form a little 90 degree and uh, sizes are parallel to two we call the longer sides length and we call the small uh, sides width so the area of a rectangle the formula is the length time the width let's draw my to my rectangle here this one is l this one is w this one is three inch this one is six inches and my formula says area is equal to one length, six inch, times one width, which is three inches. We only use one of them. We don't use all of them. For the perimeter, we add all of them. But for the area, you take one side, multiply it by the second side, and that's it. And the area should give you 18 inches square. So before we continue, let's note that all units are same for each side, inch, inch, inch in our case here. So in case you have one unit different from the others, you have to convert them so that you have the same unit for your measurement before you proceed to your operations. But for now, we are going to be using same unit, so no conversion needed. Now let's move to another shape. 
This shape that we have seen is a rectangle with all four sides having the equal length 3, 3, 3, 3. So they have same length and they are all right angles. Look at here, 90 degree, 90 degree, 90 degree. So we call this shape a square. So let's find the perimeter of a square. As we said before, we add all sizes. So I have one, two, three, four sides. Three plus three plus three plus three. One, two, three, four. And that should give me 12 inches. What about the area? So as we saw for uh, the rectangles, we do the same thing. Length times width. But here they all have same size. So I will just call each of them side with small s. So I have small s, small s, small s, small s. So we do s times s. One times the other. We don't use four of them, we just use two of them. And that should give me three times three. And my final answer should be nine inches square. Another shape, this one is a right triangle. That means that we have other types of triangle, but for this video, we are only using right triangle. The longer side, which is this side, is called the hypotenuse. The two other sides, this and this, A and B, are called legs. We have one right angle right here, 90 degree. And you should realize that the longer side is opposite to the right angle. And the longer side is the hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse is opposite to the right angle. Now let's find the area. What is the formula? The area of a right angle is one first leg times the second leg, everything divided by two. A and B are the legs. We did not use the hypotenuse to find the area. So there is no need, there is no use of hypotenuse to f in the area formulas. We don't need to use the value of the longest side. To find the perimeter of the right triangle, we also just add all the sides. So P for perimeter is equal to A plus B plus C. Plus this side is, is this side is A, this side is C, this side is B. So we just add all of them. So if I have a right angle triangle like this, and I have A equal to 4, B equal to 3, C equal to 5, the area should give me 4 times 3 divided by 2, which is 12 divided by 2, 6. And uh, the perimeter should give me 4 plus 5 plus 3, which is equal to 12. Whatever unit I have, if it's inch, it will be inch square, and this one will be just inch. Sometimes we don't know the value of the length of one side. It can be A or B or C that we don't know. So to find the missing value, we use the formula called Pythagorean theorem. And for a a triangle of length of uh, legs A and B, and for hypotenuse C, like our right triangle right here, the formula says A square plus B square is equal to C square. A and B are the legs, C is the hypotenuse. So C always hypotenuse, A plus B are the legs. From this formula, you can solve for your missing value. It can be C. If it is C, so C is equal to square root of A square plus B square. All right? B. If it's B, B should be equal to square root of C square minus A square. If it is A, the missing A, to find it, it should be square root of C square minus B square. So these are what you should know. This is the Pythagorean theorem. Let's do one example. Okay, find the perimeter of the right triangle whose legs are 1 and 2. So I have my right angle. So it says 1 and 2 are the legs. We don't know the value of the hypotenuse. I will call it C. And the question is find the perimeter. 
right so we before we find the perimeter we know that the perimeter is equal to the sum of uh, all sides so it should be 2 plus 1 plus c but i don't know the value of c there i need to find it and uh, to find it i will be using the pythagorean theorem and the pythagorean theorem says that a square plus b square is equal to c square here my a is 1 my b is 2 when I square them, I should have c squared. So I have 1, a squared, 1 squared is 1 plus 4 equal to c squared. So 5 equal to c squared. To find, I'm looking for c, I'm not looking for c squared, but I have c squared. In order to find c, I have to square root each side, c squared. So square root of c squared is c, and c is equal to square root of 5. There is no perfect square for 5, so I just leave it like this so come back here compute my perimeter which is 2 plus 1 plus square root of 5 let's combine like terms 2 plus 1 is 3 and uh, plus square root of 5 here square root of 5 is not an integer so i cannot combine it to 3 it will not give me a single long, so I, number so i will just leave it like like this so my perimeter is 3 plus square root of 5. Okay, let's do a final example for this section. Let's find the area and the perimeter of uh, this shape. It doesn't look right the way like uh, shapes that we saw previously, but um, we can break this down in order to have shapes that we have previously. So this is a combination of many shapes that we already found. So let's start computing the perimeter to see if we find any difficulties and we'll find solution for them so perimeter is adding all sides right so i'll start from the six and i'll go this way i have six plus nine this one is seven plus seven the whole thing is seven yeah now this one i don't know i'll call it c plus c plus three right there this one is three plus three again and plus three so I'm missing this one. How do I find it? So far, I if I look at this, I can put this dot here, this small line here, in order to have a shape that we saw before, which is a right triangle. So with my 90 degree right here, so I have a right triangle. This whole thing is a right triangle, right? And I know four, which is from here to here. And I don't know C. I'll call this one A right here. Do I know it? Yes. How? Okay. This whole thing right here is 9. If I project this line right there, I have 3. If I project this line too, I have another 3. So I have 6. So this one, I don't know. So what is it? It is 9, the whole length, minus 3 and 3. So 9 minus 6 to 3 so this small part right here is 3 and is the same thing as my a here which is 3 so a is equal to 3 so i have 3 i have 4 and i'm looking for c i'm gonna use the pythagorean theorem which says a square which is my 3 square plus i call this b b square which is my 4 square is equal to c square I don't know it, I want to find it. So I have 9 plus 16 equal to c squared. So 25 equal to c squared. And when I square root each side, I have square root of 25 equal to c. So that means c equal to 5. So this c right here is equal to 5. So I will re replace my c by 5. So I have 6 plus 9 plus 7 plus 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 okay and that will give me 33 so my p equal to 33 now what about finding the area let's call a our area right same thing we will break our complex shape into small shapes that we previously saw and find the area of these small shapes and then add them together to find our general big area. So here, I already have my triangle right here. I know all sides. I'll call it 
area one right so my area one is right there i will divide this like this and this whole thing right here will be my area two so plus area two and uh, now this left will be area three plus area three so i have one triangle one square one rectangle and i will file on the area of each of them so for the first area area one i have this leg which is three right a equal to three times this leg which is four and divided by two we know how to find the area of a right triangle and that should give me six i know that then let's find a2 which is a square so this one is three and this one is three that's all i need they are same size so i have three times three equal nine so i know area two what about area three that one is a rectangle this whole thing here is seven and uh, from here to here from here to here is four so what about this one i just subtract seven minus four equal to three so this little part left is three so to find the area of my rectangle i will do this one which is nine times this one which is three so nine times three twenty seven all right so now i have to add all of them twenty seven a a one equal to six plus a two equal to nine plus a three equal to twenty seven and my final answer is equal to forty two inches square okay let's take a break don't forget to subscribe like comment share and um, i see you soon for another topic